Hey guys, I'm Mikey Man back here for the NBO guys. Today we have some brand new power up expansion players. Funny enough, it looks like we have 12 every single week. So we have 12 this week, 12 next week, and the week after that. Obviously, it continues throughout the rest of the season. Very surprised. I thought it was going to be like six or seven. I don't think it was going to be 12. Like EA really went beyond, uh, beyond for this part of the promo. And of course, these are the players as follow. We have Phil, um, Min, oh, sorry, Frank Min, Minfield, not bad. We have uh, Tio Spikes. We have Michael Blackers. We have Devin McCordy. We have Logan Thomas, Drew Bennett, Max Strong, Phil Lowhart, Taylor Mays, Ozzy, Roddy White, and Saquon Barkley. Obviously, for Frank, you want to get the Browns. Tio Spikes gets the Bengals, Bills, 49ers, Eagles, and Chargers. Michael Brockers gets the Rams and Lions. Uh, Devin McCoy gets the Pats. Logan Thomas gets the Cardinals, Bills, Lions, Washington football team. Uh, Drew Bennett gets the Titans and Rams. Seahawks for Max Strong. Vikings for Phil Lohart. And then 49ers, Bengals, Raiders. Giants and Falcons for Ozzy. Falcons, Body White, and Saquon gets, the, of course, the Giants. All right, so let's take a look at these cards, guys, and see how good they actually do look stat-wise. Uh, it is 46,000 training to go ahead and uh, max them out. I believe that's around 150,000 coins. So not too expensive to max these cards out. Uh, nothing like too insanely expensive. But, you know, it's definitely still some training. Um, if you do have these, if you do want to max these cards out, it's not too, too bad. But you do have to get, of course, the other editions of the card. Uh, whatever that ends up being. So for Mr. Uh, Frank Minfield, uh, it looks like, wait, uh, there we go. Okay, my man. 46,000 training. So a total of 71,000 training. Plus, you get his two other cards to max him out. He has 95 speed in the end, though. Very good cornerback for the Browns here. Uh, 95 speed. He get 95 agility, 97 acceleration, 96 awareness. Uh, defense stats wise, he does have 89 pursuit, a 96 play rack, 98 man, 90 zone, and 97 press. Wow. Okay. Definitely decent. Speed, not the greatest. But if you are rocking this card, most likely you have an all-time Brown squad. Which means you get up to 99 speed because you max out, you know, Team Chem, obviously. And Sprinter, uh, sprinter or Brawler. So, overall, not a bad card. Um, Like I said before, you're definitely going to be very on the cheaper end once you go ahead and complete this card. Because, again, power up passes. Plus, the fact you uh, training is very cheap right now. With everyone going ahead and opening up. Um, pulling cards like uh, left and right from training variety packs. All right, next one we have here is gonna be T.O. Spikes, and T.O. Spikes like I said before: Bengals, Bills, Eagles, 49ers, Chargers. I'll uh, take a look at his card. So go ahead and max out his card. He's gonna go ahead and have, let's see, 91 speed. Okay, 90 strength, 89 or oh, 88 agility. Okay, not too too bad. 70 catching. Okay, that's decent. Uh, defensive stats, 98 tackle, 97 hit power. Power finesse ratio, not the greatest. 95 block shed, though. 97 pursuit, 97 play wreck. He has 77 zone. Okay. I mean, not a bad card by any stretch of imagination. You can get him up to 95 speed on a theme team. But overall, okay, he's decent. He's a decent card. Nothing too crazy special. I know a lot of people were ticked off saying that these cards would be 99s. <clears throat> I mean, I do agree. I, it's kind of weird to have 98 overalls in, like, you know, May. I don't, I understand, like, why not just make every week we have 12 new 99 overall cards or 11 new 99 cards. I, I can't answer. I can't answer that for EA. I don't know what EA is thinking on that one. Definitely will say, doesn't make sense in my opinion. Um, You know, I would, again, like I said, I would have this 99s, these 99s. I don't get why they're 98s, but we don't ask questions with EA. They do what they do. All right. Michael Barker, 77 speed, 96 strength, 94 salvation, 97 agility. Uh, this is 97 awareness, my bad. Not agility. Um, his agility rating is 81. Defense stats, 97 tackle, 93 hit power, 95 power move, 67 finesse move, 99 block shed, 98 pursuit, 97 playback. Okay. I mean, decent card overall. Not too, too... 
um, it's like not too amazing but also not too bad i mean kind of like that's how i feel about most of these cars at this point they're like okay they're decent but they're not like insanely great and i mean on 98 they should be insanely great too right 96 speed on devin mccordy uh is that jason devin devin okay 94 Jody, 96 uh, speed, 92 change of direction, 97 acceleration, 99 tackle awareness, my bad, 83 catching. Uh, his tackle rating is 86. Okay, decent. 93 pursuit, 99 play rack, 95 man, 99 zone, 88 press. Okay, good card. Very good card. We rock the theme team, but you know, the Pats, he's a really decent card. Logan Thomas. Okay, another guy who I know, like I said before, he's been on four different teams. I've used him on four different teams. He's actually really freaking decent. Uh, overall, was decent before being upgraded. Now he has 92 speed, which is already OP. This card's really, really good. Personally, using this card, I must say. Not like, you know, stat wise, he's okay. I'll, I'll be honest. He's okay stat wise. Uh, his run block's 83, so it's mediocre to a lot of the good tight ends nowadays. Uh, but overall, really good card. 85 break tackle, 87 uh, ball care vision, 82 stiff arm. Uh, he also does 88 spin move. Uh, he does have 83 blocking, 92 speed. He has 95 catching. Uh, route running ability, he's going to have um, 93 short, 91 middle, 89 deep, uh, 93 spec catch, 93 catching traffic. Overall, like I said, very decent card. Uh, nothing too crazy special, but definitely decent. Uh, Drew Bennett's on the next guy up here. Drew Bennett's going to come ahead, go ahead and have, he's a wide receiver, so hopefully some good speed. Uh, but so far, it looks like these guys are getting two crazy speed boosts, and he's not either. He has 94 speed, um, obviously 98 speed if you max him out, 96 speed on most teams. So, like I said before, these cards are not for everyone. They're literally theme team based. A lot of these power up expansion cards will be. Um, you know, you have these cards because of power up expansion because of the fact these are for theme teams. Anyway, though, um, 94 agility, 89 change of direction. He does have 94 carrying, 98 short route running, 97 medium route running, 94 deep route running. He does have 97 catch in traffic, 95 spec catch, and 96 release. Uh, overall, he's a very 96 catching too. Very all, overall, very good card. Um, you know, like I said, the speed is a little sus at 94. Maybe you get that up a tad bit and you make this card a little bit better. But um, overall, not the worst card in the world. Definitely just, like I said before, there's some stats I would probably change on some of these cards. Um, but they're not too, too bad. All right, so Max Zhong, fullback. Let's see. 89 speed, okay. 94 trucking. Uh, 97 pass block. Oh, sorry. Is that pass block? Run block. Yeah, that's all I was going to say. His pass block should not be that good. Uh, 76 pass block. Yeah. 97 impact block. Okay. Nine, okay. Overall, decent card. Nothing too crazy special. And then we have Phil Lodehart. Right here. We max him out here. He's going to go ahead and give us... Okay, so what's his pass block? Pass block, run block is 98. Okay, that's good. Pass block, 95. Not bad. Not bad at all. And his shakes is 97. So he's going to be a decent right tackle. Very good right tackle. Obviously for 98, you know, you want that. But anyway, we looked at these cards last night. We'll take a look at them again. It's going to be Taylor Mays. He's pretty much got like a plus up. A upgrade to a pretty much everything that he you know had uh 98 tackle 99 hit power 85 block shed um 97 pursuit 94 play rack 86 man 94 zone a 79 press uh 97 speed he's a really he's a good card that is probably my favorite of all the cards uh released uh just because stat wise he really hits a lot of categories i love um, Ozzy, same concept, 90 speed. He also gives you 95 tackle, 90 hit power, 90 uh, power move, 98 finesse move, 92 block shed, 97 pursuit, 96 play rack, uh, no zone coverage to speak of, which again, you don't want really to expect that from your ends. Uh, sometimes some zone, some ends can have good zone coverage. 
on. You can go ahead and put him in coverage a little bit, but most of them you're not going to put in coverage. Uh, Roddy White, he does come in at 95 speed, uh, which is decent. Route running ability, 96, 97, 93. Uh... He doesn't. He has decent run block at 66. Actually, not bad run block. Um, but yeah, overall decent card. Nothing too insanely crazy. 95 speed is serviceable. Uh, he gets him the 97 speed with a theme team. Obviously, 99 speed. I think that's the whole. Like I said before, that's the whole point of these. You know, power expansions. Add the theme team. So, for example, you know, 95 speed is not bad. For a regular team, it might not be that good, but for a team, team is actually pretty good. Uh, this is probably my second favorite behind Tail Maze for today, just because the Saquon Barkley does get 99 speed when you max him out with Sprinter Brawler, and is really decent. 90 trucking, okay. 96 break tackle. Catching rating is around 82, not too, too bad. Um, Route running ability, 82 short, 75 middle, 69 deep. Not what ideal what you want, but again, like I said, still a decent, decent card. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts, opinions of these cards. Do you love them? Do you hate them? I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.